Go back to where you were. Amen. Proverbs. Back in Proverbs chapter 5. Come on, son. Back in Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 11. All right. She is loud and stubborn. She is loud and stubborn. Now let's go back to Ecclesiasticus. Back, back in Ecclesiasticus chapter 26 and at verse 10. So let us evaluate why many women have turned out the way they are. Mm. Some because they didn't have no father. That's right. That's the truth of it. That's right. Some women that are watching me now are in a condition that you're in because you had a good for nothing bum as a father. Bum. Amen. Sad to say it. Amen. But it's the truth of it. Amen. Your own father was looking at you. That's right. Own father trying to fondle you. That's right. Own father you trying to put his tongue down your throat. That's right. Own father wanted to bounce upon his own daughter. And if a man. Listen. In the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 12. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law. If a man lie with his daughter-in-law. Both of them. Both of them. Shall surely be put to death. According to the law, you were to be killed. That's right. They have wrought confusion. They have wrought confusion. Their blood Their shall be blood upon shall them. Their blood shall be upon them. That's right. This is why many young women today are in a condition that they're in because their father mm. broke them in. That's right. Or their uncle broke them in. And if a man shall lie with his uncle's wife, in the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 20. Do you hear all this? And if a man. You that are watching, you better get this. That's right. Because many of you looking at me now, you are victims. That's right. Mm. Wouldn't make it so easy for a father to get his daughter. That's right. She already trusts them. That's right. Your daughter is 5, 10, mm -hmm. 15, 20, and you are laying naked and if a man shall in take the his bed, sister, that's right, with your daughter, his father's daughter, listen at this, in the book of Leviticus 20, now at verse 17, what is it? And if a man shall take his sister, if a man shall take his sister, his father's, his daughter, father's daughter, or, or his, mother's daughter, his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing. Amen. You fathers. Amen. Get off your daughters. That's right. There's an innocent kiss good night. Yeah. And there's a lustful kiss lustful. good night. That's right. That's you ain't got no business kissing your daughter like you do your wife. That's right. Oh, yeah. But many of you fathers are bums. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Who just bounce upon your daughters at will That's and right. then put fear in your daughters. That's right. And some of you mothers mm -hmm. know what your husband is doing. Know what he's doing. But you are intimidated by that good for nothing dog until you sit back and allow your daughter that you claim you love to be constantly raped. My Lord. That's right. By your husband. That's right. That's right. That's if right. you see that daddy ain't got sense enough to protect his daughter, Amen. then mother, you are no good That's if right. you sit back and don't do nothing about it. That's right. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. To God. Go ahead, brother. I said you're no good. Amen. Amen. Don't quote me no scripture. The head of every woman is the man. That don't work. When your daughter's being raped. That's right. No, that won't work. Talk to me. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. And if a man shall take his sister. If a man shall take his sister. His father's daughter. His father's daughter. Or. Or. His mother's his daughter. His mother's daughter. And see her nakedness. And see her nakedness. And she see his nakedness. She see his. It is a wicked it thing. It is a wicked thing. What you mean, see his nakedness? Deliberately want to expose themselves one to the other. That's right. That's what it's talking about. That's right. Deliberately. Why? Because father may have to end up taking care of whose daughter who's bad stricken. That's true. So it's not talking about in caring for the daughter. No. Oh, no. 
It's talking about deliberately Deliberate. exposing themselves to one another because they got a different agenda. That's right. The, the nakedness of thy sister. Go listen at the book. Now in the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 9. The nakedness of thine sister. The daughter of thy father. The daughter of thine father. Or daughter of thy mother. Or daughter of your mother. Whether she be born at home, she born at home or born abroad, or born somewhere else, even their nakedness, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover. There come in time, <laughs> you stop bathing your daughter. That's right. I bathed all my girls when they was babies. Mm -hmm. I ain't washing them now. Amen. One daughter 17, the other 15, I ain't washing them now. Oh, no. Huh? That's right. Thou shalt not uncover. Still in the book of Leviticus chapter 18 Listen and verse this. 17. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter. Do you hear the law? Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness. Many, and this has been a contributing factor to the downfall yeah. of society. That's right. First and foremost, as I said before, the homes in many houses of America and around the world it's not a home. That's right. It's just strangers, strangers living in a madhouse. Amen. A bunch of barbarians. That's right. Physical abuse of the children. That's right. Fathers bouncing upon not just one daughter, several. Amen. Mama sitting in the side room somewhere praying mm. or in denial. That's right. To all my women that are watching, if your daughter ever tell you that daddy done something to her, he had no business doing, don't tune it out, confront, confront that it. man. That's right. Confront him. That's right. Confront him. Go ahead. I don't care how hard he preach, how loud he talk, Go I ahead. don't care if he is the breadwinner. Confront that dog. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Confront him. Go ahead. Don't Amen. push it aside. Confront him. Go ahead. You walk around nine months suffering in labor, hang between life and death ahead, just brother. to ignore Go the ahead. plea of your own daughter. Your own daughter. That's You're good. unfit as a mother. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening to me? Go ahead. The book says what? Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and, so her, and her daughter. here you have a family, so-called. Mm -hmm. And the so-called father is exercising his unlawful rights. That's right. Because he feels as though because I'm father, everything in the house is mine. Mine. Including the bodies of the children. That's right. Mm. And because some of you got a sick daddy like that, mm -hmm. many of you boys are gay. That's right. Because your father penetrated you. That's right. Because you got a sick, good for nothing father like that, mm -hmm. many of you girls are prostitutes. That's right. You don't know how to even be committed to one man. It's not a part of you. Mm -hmm. Because your father done broke you in so early, so young. My Lord. And then passed you to his uncle. That's right. Which is his brother. That's right. Then passed you around like you was a dish. That's right. Thou shalt not so uncover. So therefore, he trained your body. Trained your body, trained your character, and trained your mind. That's right. To believe that this is a way of life. That's right. And you don't even know how to think otherwise. Because he has conditioned your mind, conditioned your emotions, conditioned you. Mm -hmm. That's why some of you are prostitutes. That's right. And this is why some of you are struggling to come out of prostitution. That's right. But it's hard because you got an appetite that was given to you by your daddy. By your daddy. My Lord. Are you listening to me? Amen. You that are watching, mm -hmm. call all your family members around the television and around the radio because 
You need this message. You need it. That's right. The condition of the families of America is sick. Oh, yes. On television, incest is condoned. That's right. Certainly it is. Amen. On television, incest is condoned. Incest right. is promoted. That's right. These preachers are not speaking out against nothing as long as you buying them cars, Amen. houses, and yachts. They don't care if you go to hell that night. That's right. That's right. So here you have the moral fiber, the thread have unwind itself in the homes. That's right. There is no foundation. There is no structure. That's right. Parents have ceased in many cases to be involved in the lives of their children when they are children. Don't counsel them. Don't advise them. Don't right. instruct them. That's right. 13-year-old son Tell his father, I'm going out. And it's one o'clock in the morning. Amen. And then father tell him, don't stay out late. It's already late. <laughs> That's right. It's true. Daughters go off to college. Mm -hmm. Live in a dorm with a boy. Amen. Parents know it. Amen. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Instead of reprimanding the daughter and kicking the boy out, invite them both over for dinner. Invite them. That's right. That's right. And then you have young people who will say, that man's old fashioned. No, this is called common sense. Amen. Common sense. That's right. So if you have the family structure in America that have and is collapsing abroad, it's trickling down. Mm -hmm. Because if the looseness is embedded in the mind of the daughter who was victimized by mother, uncle, brother, now she struggled with hate. That's right. That's the truth of it. I That's don't right. care if she is born again. That's true. She struggled with hate. Amen. Someone said, oh, but you're a new creature. You're not a new creature overnight. No way. Someone said, well, if the Bible said new creature, that means new creature. Well, let us evaluate the term new creature. New creature. We are as a caterpillar. In fact, we're called a worm. Worm. Low to the earth. Moving at a certain pace. Right, right. That's but right. before we are resurrected or elevated to a higher level of life, the caterpillar must go into its cocoon. Mm -hmm. Transformation takes place while it's in hibernation. They must be transformed. That's right. To become a new creature. That's right. Transformation don't take place overnight. Why it's in the cocoon, it's being born again. Born again. <laughs> Go ahead. It's being converted. That's right. So, in the midst of this conversion, the cocoon is not to be broken o open too soon because mm -hmm. if so, it's not ready to come out. That's right. My God, if you look, if you ever broke, when I was little, I broke over open a cocoon. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see what a caterpillar looked like. You know, a caterpillar... It has like a, like, like a little furry little thing. Yeah. But if you break open the cocoon while it's in being changed, it's actually bald. That's right. It don't have no fur on it. It looks like a twig. Mm -hmm. Because while it's in that cocoon, it's shedding mm -hmm. everything. That's right. You understand? That's right. It goes in a cocoon that it may shed. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's waiting for the resurrection. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling That's you? That's right. It has to be resurrected out of its sepulcher. Go ahead. And when 
time has expired mm -hmm. and it's time for its resurrection. Go ahead. It comes out a new creature. Transform. For now, he don't have to crawl out. That's right. He can fly out. That's right. He's been transformed. transformed. That's right. And now the same thing that used to be on this belly, mm -hmm. now God have highly exalted, exalted him. Now he can fly instead of crawl. crawl. That's right. So here you have someone that have been bounced upon by family members or just been used and abused by a long line of men. Long, that's right. Hate can set in oh, yeah. towards the one that they abused them. That's Hate right. can set in towards the one that allowed the abuse to that's take right. place and did nothing to protect them. Amen. That's right. For that cause, they have, in many cases, created a new breed hmm. of a woman. That's right. Some that are mean-spirited. That's right. Vindictive, mm -hmm. manipulative, mm -hmm. cunning, Funny. crafty, That's right. greedy, do whatever it takes to survive, even if I got to lie to you in the process. That's right. The wickedness of a woman changeth her face. In the book of Ecclesiastes 25 and verse 17. Listen. The, the wickedness, the of, wickedness a woman of a woman changeth her face. Sometime a bad experience create a good person. Mm -hmm. And sometime a bad experience create a worse person. Worse. Depending upon how the person adapt after the experience took place. That's right. Because everyone don't look at that experience the same. Right. Or don't handle it the same. same Some can forgive you and walk away. But there's some, whenever they see you or hear about something that happened to someone that's similar to them, it recharges. That's right. They stir up stir the up. past hate, and now the past become present again. That's right. That's Fathers that have abused your daughters, mm -hmm. you don't love them. No. You're no good. That's right. Did you hear me? None of you. Listen. In the book of Leviticus 18 and verse 6, none of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him. None of you. None of you. Shall approach to any. To any. That is of near of kin to him. That is of him, near kin to you. To uncover their to nakedness. To uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. The nakedness of thy father. Or the nakedness of thy mother shalt thou not uncover. Don't uncover your mother nakedness? Thou Amen. Now, let's take it to the church. Mm -hmm. Give me the fifth chapter of the book of Corinthians. That's right. First Corinthians let's chapter take five. that right to the church. First Corinthians chapter 5 and begin at verse 1. I want to show you where incest right. took place. That's right. In the church. That's right. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Mm -hmm. Listen good. First Corinthians chapter 5 and beginning verse 1. What is it? It is reported commonly. Hold it. Hmm. If it says it is reported commonly, uh -huh. somebody within the church. That's right. Notified the apostles. That's right. And let the apostles know we got a problem. It is reported. And it needs to be addressed. That's right. You that are watching me now, we got a worldwide problem. Amen. Unwed mothers, yeah. incest, That's right. gay epidemic, My Lord. churches are all quiet because you all making them rich. That's why you got mega churches. That's right. Nobody's saying nothing about nothing. Amen. That's true. Look around your neighborhood. I don't true. care if your daddy rich. Oh, no. I don't know. You old rich, spoiled brat. That's right. Go ahead. No discipline. Amen. And it's a common report. It is reported commonly. Commonly. That there is fornication among you. There is among fornication you. among you. And such fornication. Uh -oh, there was a certain kind. That's right. It wasn't everyday kind of fornication. No. 
certain kind, such, a particular kind. Amen. Such fornication. As is not as so much as named among the Gentiles. Named among the Gentiles. That one born. should have his father's wife. And what did Moses say? None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord, the nakedness of thy father, and who else? or the nakedness of thy mother. And what did they have there? It is reported calmly that there is fornication among you, that one should have his father's wife. Now notice the term father's wife. It says father's wife. Father's wife. Okay. It can be mother and so-called stepmother. That's right. Because your father's wife doesn't necessarily have to be your mother, your biological mother. Right. That's right. So again, look at what condition what scripture says, and this is the condition. The condition. Look at what the condition have created. Mm -hmm. In many cases, women that are vindictive and hate all men mm -hmm. because all they were physically abused by father, uncle, brother, and they made up in their mind to Abuse. That's right. Emotionally, mentally, and physically. That's right. Men for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. Take revenge. They categorize all men to be the same. That's Some right. men done the same thing. Same thing. Was abused by women. Mm -hmm. And made up in their mind that no woman is, is any good. Right. So what they're going to do, they're going to get back at every woman they get involved with and make them another victim or statistic. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So if you have this type of way of thinking in the homes of America, what's being done about it? Amen. What's being preached? What's being taught? That's right. You churches are promoting the separation and the downfall of family by condoning remarriage and, and divorce. divorce. Right. Amen. By you condoning it, you are telling husbands, oh, it's all right to leave your right. wife and get you another woman. That's right. You are telling wives, go on and leave your husband and get you another man. That's right. A man that breaketh wedlock. Do you hear this? Now in the book of Ecclesiastes 23 and verse 18. A man. That breaketh wedlock. That break wedlock. Saying thus in his heart. Saying in his heart. Who seeth me? Who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. I'm compassed. I can hide myself. The walls cover me. The walls got me covered. And nobody seeth me. Ain't no one see what I'm doing. What need I to fear? What, what, what should I be afraid of? The Most High will not remember well, my sins. The Most High won't remember me because he know my heart. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Such a man. Such a man. Only feareth the eyes of men. He only worry about what people think of him. And knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Do you hear that? Amen. <laughs> Such a man. Amen. Would you worry about what people think? That's right. How to realize the most high is watching him. That's right. And knoweth not that the eyes the of the eyes Lord. The eyes of the Lord is 10,000 times brighter. Than the sun. That's what Paul saw. That's right. Huh? That's right. And the word, the word of God said That's it was right. the light that shined above the brightness, above the of, the brightness sun. of the sun. It was the reflection of the eyes of God Hallelujah. looking down upon him. That's right. And the light exceeded Hallelujah. sunlight. That's right. You out here remarriage and divorce, remarriage and divorce, remarriage and divorce, and then. That's right. Some of you women that are married get pregnant outside. Of your marriage. That's right. And the scripture talks about that too. Thus shall it go. Listen. Nail in the book of Ecclesiastes 23 at verse 22. Thus shall it go. Thus shall it go also with the wife. It shall go also with the wife. That leaveth her husband. That leave her husband. And bringeth in an heir. Bring in an heir. By, get pregnant. By another. By another. By, for first. For first. He hath disobeyed the law. Woman, of the if you get pregnant. Amen. By another man, Amen. and you are married, That's right. this is what you've done. First, First, she has disobeyed the law. You disobey the law of the Most High. Of Jehovah. And secondly, second, she has trespassed. You have trespassed against her own husband. Against your husband. And thirdly, Third, she has played the whore. You have act like a whore. In adultery. In adultery. And brought children. And brought children. By another man. By another man. That's right. That's right. Thus saith the scripture. Saith the scriptures. My Lord. Now. 
Society will say, Amen. well, y'all love one another. That's right. That's what society will say. That's right. Y'all love one another. Y'all mean for one another. Y'all mean for one another. Amen. There are three laws. First. That hang on you. That's right. When a woman get pregnant and she's already married and she is pregnant by a man that's not her husband. For first. The first one that you affect is heaven. She, Your pregnancy have disturbed heaven. That's right. That's right. Your pregnancy have shook the throne of the most high. My Lord. My Lord. He felt it. That's something. Do you hear this? For first, first, she has disobeyed the law. You disobeyed the law of the Most High of God. And secondly, second, she has trespassed, has transgressed against her, against own, husband. her own husband. And thirdly, Third, she has played the you whore. Have played like a whore in adultery. In adultery and brought children. And brought children by another man. By another man. She shall she she shall be brought out. She shall be brought out into the congregation. Into the congregation. And inquisition and shall be made. A trial gonna be made. That's right. She shall be tried. And inquisition shall be made. And then what? Of her children. My Lord. Are you listening? My Lord. This is the condition. That's right. So you churches that condone remarriage and divorce. Amen. You are teaching women that it's all right to get pregnant to another man as long as your first husband is alive. That's right. And if you teach women that remarriage and divorce That's is right. right, then you got a thousands and thousands of women. That's right. That God is angry at. She has played the whore in adultery. What is the first violation? First, she has disobeyed the law of the Most High. So if your pastor tell you you can remarriage and divorce, Amen. your pastor teaching you to disobey God. That's right. That's right. I say your pastor, every judge, every lawyer, and divorce court. That's right. Go ahead, brother. For the Lord our God said from the beginning it was not, not so. so. That's right. Go ahead. Are well, you listen to me, old man? For first, first, she has disobeyed the law of the Most she High. She disobeyed the Most High. Never mind, Pastor Jennings. Right. You need to write me and cuss me out. I'm not the Most High. <laughs> That's right. You writing me and cuss me out, lay me out. What's that? What What's is that? that to me? That's right. You being upset with me, I go to sleep on my pillow. Amen. I'm not the most high. That's right. Leave it to Pastor Jennings. Me personally, I wouldn't care what you do. Right. But again, as I often say, I'm a delivery man. Amen. This is the letter. This is the letter. My father told me, bring it. Bring it. That's right. Bring it. That's right. Where, 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 where should I stop at? Every nation. Every nation. Every nation. That's Glory right. to God. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. I don't care if you're white, it's black, the brown, the yellow, red. Every, every nation people. under the sun got to hear from God. That's right. That's right. Your churches that allow you to get more than one wife, Amen. more than one husband, they're wrong. That's right. The religion that allowed it is wrong. That's right. For first, she has disobeyed the law of the Most she High. Disobeyed the law of the Most High. And secondly, secondly, she has trespassed against her own husband. Trespassed against your own holy, mm. holy. Did you see something in there? And did secondly, you, oh, did you see something in there? Amen. That lets you know God still recognized the first man as your husband. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Huh? Go ahead. You say that's not your husband. That's right. You said it's not your husband. That's right. But God still recognized the first. What do God still call the first she man? She had trespassed against her own husband. She had trespassed. Wait, wait a minute. Backtrack. For first. First. She had disobeyed the law of the most high. She disobeyed the law of the most high. And secondly. Secondly. She had trespassed. She had trespassed. Against her, against her, own, her husband. own husband. Her own husband. Why? She got pregnant by another man. That's it. That's but right. But yet she got pregnant by another man. That's she right. violated the law against her, her own, own husband. husband. So God is telling you as long as the first man lives in God's eyes, he is and shall be That's your right. husband. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Shall be. That's right. As long as he's alive. As long as he's living. Own husband. You call yourself a Christian. Amen. God call you a transgressor. That's right. 
divorce wow. court is a court from hell. Yes, it is. Set up by the devil, designed to demolish homes. That's right. Go ahead. So now, first husband is alive. You get a second one. Babies by him. That's right. Leave him third. Babies by him. Amen. Leave him fourth. Babies by him. That's right. Leave him fifth. Babies by him. My Lord. And all divorce court does is accommodate you. That's what they do. Mm. Are you listening? That's right. That's so right. in God's eyes. Her own husband. Still your husband. That's right. This is good, isn't it? Oh, yes. So again, as I said, the condition of the homes of America and around the world have collapsed. Amen. Falling apart. You have a lot of babies who don't know who their daddy is. That's right. Don't know who their daddy is, so therefore the woman wants some form of income, so she take on a man. Make them believe that they love me and whatever, just so she can get money out of them. That's right. And sometimes if she's been used and abused throughout her days, she'll say, well, look, I'm going to get mine. Get mine. So she start picking up using and abusing. That's true. She's like, well, look, I'm tired. I'm tired of giving. Huh. I ain't getting none of my time. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to get mine. That's <laughs> true. That's true. This is the way some of them think. Not all women, but some of them think some this way. Them. That's right. So they tell a sucker anything. Amen. Look for a young, stupid one. A young one. Mm. Naive. That's right. Some simple Simon. That's right. And Some beheld idiot. among the simple ones. Do you hear the book? In Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 7. Beheld among the simple ones. Among the stupid ones. I discern among the, I discern a, among a, the young ones. Among the youth. What? A young man, a young void, man of is void of understanding. Passing through the street. Passing near through the corner. streets near my corner. And he went the way to her house. So therefore, this is what you have, brothers and sisters. That's right. You have this condition. And the homes of not just America, but around the world, where because of certain experiences, mm -hmm. it had created, in many cases, women that hate men. That's right. She'd been beat, That's slapped, right. kicked, punched. Mm -hmm. All form of abuse. That created, in some cases, a vindictive woman. Mm -hmm. But then you have those that came up pretty good. Amen. Father was in and out, but mother was there. Mm -hmm. And came out of a fairly well-structured home. That's right. But there's something within her. That's right. That caused her to choose the wrong path. In 